Hi everyone, today's video is going to be a haul video. I haven't been doing haul videos a lot. I mean, my last haul video was probably last month and I think I should be doing more haul videos because it's like every time I do a haul video, I'm showing like this huge bunch of things to you girls. It's like a collective haul, so I really can't really like give mini reviews. So I should you know, split up my hauls and then show them to you throughout the weeks instead of like showing you every month. But I'm so sorry I have to do this. It's going to be like a collective haul video again. So uh, I'm going to show you just stuff which I have um, bought from um, Sprees, from online, mostly online and Sprees because I don't normally shop in Singapore for cosmetics as it's quite expensive when I can get the same item, the same price on online or on Sprees. So yeah, I'll put the links down on the places which I have uh, on the stores or online blog shops or sprees that I have bought the items. So you might want to check them out and you can really get some really good deals. So let me get started on my the stuff that I got. They are all in random order so I'm not going to show them like in faces, eyes or you know what not. So let's get started. Um, I got um, one of the wet and wild um, uh, palettes and this one is in vanity. I, I have I think I besides greed I have all of these um color icon when I want color icon palettes, uh because I've heard so much good things about them and I've used uh Pride and yeah it's um it's really it's really really good uh I mean and it has like huge rays on makeup alley so. I just thought I'll pick them up. I haven't used this one yet, and this one, uh, this one is in Vanity, and these are all the um, neutral colors. And I hope that there are many dupes for it. There are many dupes for Mac um, eyeshadow, so uh, you might want to check this one out. And this one also, if you remember, I I said that my Pride palette was damaged, but this one came intact, and I got it from one of the blog shops. Another one of the Wet n Wild palettes I got are the 8 eyeshadow palettes. This is this one. This one is in Comfort Zone. So this is another neutral palette. But there are actually some pops of color like green and some dark color. So if you're interested in like neutral but you also want that pop of color, you can just check this one out. I also have not <laughs> opened yet. This is I have not opened it yet. This is like one of my bad habits. I keep buying and buying my makeup but there are many products that I haven't used yet. So yeah I mean but if you want swatches you know you can just google because I'm sure there are many swatches online. So yeah it's just another um, uh, palette, eyeshadow palette and I also got two more eyeshadow palettes and I joined a Slick uh, spree. No, I joined two stick spree. So I got these um, two eyeshadow palettes from these two um, different sprees. And the first one I got is a limited edition one. Is the Aura La Peach, and it's the Paraguaya palette. And this one is like you know this eyeshadow palette is all about the peaches and yeah and. Slick has decided to you know name their eyeshadow so yeah you get you know you get all the peach, peach and the pinks and you get your oranges right here so yeah this is like you know if you're into the peaches and you also do want to create two dramatic looks and uh, you should go for this um, palette if you can join a spree and I also got the other one is in Sunset, the Sunset uh, palette. So this is what it looks like. When I ordered this, right, Sleek hasn't started naming their palette, uh, naming the eyeshadow. So yeah, this one came like without eyeshadow names and oops, and. You have you know your pinks and you have but you have some really pop of colors like a uh, blue, 
uh, yellow, orange, you know, and there's a very nice pigmented black right here. And you have all your muted, uh, dusty pinks and some reds over here. So initially, I didn't want this um, palette because I thought it would be too dramatic and it wouldn't suit. But then I've seen like YouTube tutorials where people are doing, and it looked really, really nice. So I thought I would just um, grab this um, palette. Sorry. The background um, info. I got these two slick palettes from a spree organizer who is who was actually banned from the SG Beauty Live Journal for. Uh, for advertising her sprees and you know giving supposedly sending out uh, emails to people who sending out emails to people telling that she's organizing slick sprees I'm not going to say who the user is but um, that's it caused quite a controversial issue I mean it caused quite an issue in SG Beauty you know the community and eventually she was banned and there are many people who many girls who accused her of you know saying that she her she overpriced her sprees and some of her items came um damaged i personally did not have any issues with that because both of my palettes came intact and um they are in good condition so i can't I can't bad mouth anything about her but if you are if you are but I would like to just tell you that if you are uncomfortable in a spree then don't join it and, and th don't join the spree don't until you know you join the spree and then you get your items and then you feel you complain and say oh the shipping is so long and the goods are so expensive you know, before you join a spree, there's always these terms and conditions that the spree organizer lists out. So when you join a spree, it means that you have agreed to her terms and conditions. So even if she overpriced her items and and whatever not, it means that doesn't it just means that you have agreed to let her overprice it. Means that you are agreeing to letting her charge what uh, like the spree fees that she charges so I sometimes I really don't understand you know girls who you know agree on the terms and conditions and after that you know just say like just say like oh you are charging too expensive and the shipping is too long why is it taking so long and this kind of thing so that is what in my opinion what I think so don't join a spree unless you are really comfortable with it and whatever happens later like if you feel it's a bit unfair unless it's not stated in the terms and conditions then you can probably complain but other than that I personally feel that you shouldn't complain if like you have agreed to her terms and conditions that's what, that's what I think yeah so a little rant right there so let's continue on with the haul I also got this Too Faced Enchanted Glamour Land palette. Um, this one came. This is a limited edition. It came out quite some ago, together with the you know the Urban Decay New York color palette or the Book of Shadows Volume Three. And I have wanted to get this one when it came out with Sephora, but it was so expensive, like seventy five dollars. But I got this off another seller from the SG Beauty community, and I got it for forty eight dollars, but without missing items. Um, so it comes in a box like this and when you open it, it has this various and you know you have a blush here and you have a bronzer here but this bronzer is too shimmery and too uh, too light to for me to use as a bronzer. I'll probably use as a highlighter when it's better. And when you open up this drawer right here, see it opens up and you get um 15 eyeshadows okay the things that i when i bought this palette that were missing were the shadow insurance and the pillow talk lip gloss that, but i'm not really that i don't really need those because i have two i already have three eye primers and the pillow talk is just another neutral uh, gloss so what I'm really interested in are the, of course the eyeshadows and I love that this is such a versatile palette you have your neutrals and you have your colors and you have you know smoky so I'm like thinking that this is probably the neutral 
roll and this one is probably the color colorful roll and this one is probably the smoky eye roll so I really do like this um, palette the shadows are very pigmented as you can see I use this on my lid this color called U, U and R on my lid today as a as my lid color and this is so pigmented look at that it's just one swatch and I get like great pigmentation okay um I'm not too fond actually about the the packaging because I find that it it sort of like copies Urban Decay and I don't like that you have to open this entire thing to actually pull out the eyeshadow drawer so I'm not too bad because at least Urban Decay they separate the eyeshadows from the packaging but this one is like you have to open the entire packaging to get the eyeshadow out and yeah and I forgot you it actually comes with some cards right here to show you like what looks you can what fairy looks you can create according to this continue I also bought um two um mascaras one is again my favorite mascara covergirl lash blast one of my favorite mascaras I got a uh, backup of this and I also got uh, another um, mascara it's a brand new one but the seller has taken it out of her of the packaging but she told me it's a new one is the uh, covergirl professional all-in-one mascara this <laughs> mascara uh, was a mistake I wanted to get the lash exact which which she was also selling but I think when I bought from her I I had a typo error so in the end I got this and yeah this was a mistake I haven't used this yet I'm not sure how it would work but uh, I'm it's just a mistake I want the lash exact do you know the other mascara which I really like so yeah Okay, moving on. Uh, next item I got is um, a slick blush, slick makeup blush in Scandalous. I got it together with you know the spree, the, this two, uh, these two sprees. So okay, this one, look at this. This is like a scary red color, a tomato red color, and the size of and this blush is. Even though it looks scary in the pan, it's very it applies very nice on my cheeks. It gives you like you know the kind of English rose kind of um cheeks. Like you know like snow <laughs> like snow white. If you use with a light hand, I use it with my F15 uh my Sigma F15 brush, you know the dual fiber brush. And it gives a really nice flush of red colour on my lips, like I have like like apple kind of I don't know how to describe it but it just looks very rosy <coughs> sorry and very nice like a British uh, English rose look like Snow White so yeah and the blush is super pigmented look at that it is so pigmented so you have to apply it with a light hand and I heard that this is supposedly supposed to be a dupe for NARS Exhibit A which I do not have and the size of this is the size of this uh, Lush is like really really small. It's like I I didn't quite expect expect it because I thought like it on the website it looks bigger, but um it's really really small. It's like it's as small as you know an eyeshadow pen, but it has eight grams of product. So I'll give you an idea. This one is the Mac blush, and this is the Sleek brush. It's like super duper small. It can fit inside the palm. In it's like half of my like almost the palm. My and I don't really have big hands. So so yeah, this is like a small blush. And the next item I got is a MAC blush in Pink Cout. This one came out in the MAC Genius collection but uh, I didn't bought it from the store. I got it online as well for you know uh, $33 because uh, and it's almost brand new. The, the seller has only uh, swatched it once and I like this color. It's like a pink uh, grey. It's like on the pan it looks pink grey, it looks very really very really, very dull but on my cheeks it it gives like a very nice light berry pink colour. I have it on, on my cheeks today. I'm not sure whether you can see it, but I like I really like this blush. It shows is it looks good on my skin. And it's something that I I don't own. So yeah, I really like this one. And the next one I got is uh 
sample of a uh, benefits uh, high beam and it's supposedly supposed to be a high, uh, liquid highlighter and I'm not too fond of this actually because um, I have always been disappointed by benefits um, stuff whether is it their uh, what's the other one called the one that you apply under your eyes the the suppose yeah the white the round I, I don't know how to describe it but I have always been disappointed by benefits stuff because I find that they are so overpriced and they don't really work the way that I want to and for high beam I don't know when I apply this it actually looks blotchy on my skin maybe it's because I apply it after I apply my powders but I don't apply liquid foundations so I mean I really don't know how to use this without making it look too splotchy or too glittery so if you don't know how to use this can uh, probably you can drop me a comment and tell me how to use it okay so another item which I got you probably might have seen it in my previous um, videos is my MAC Wonder Woman um, blush and this one is like a peachy uh, pink color with gold shimmer similar to NARS orgasm but I don't have NARS so I can't comment but um yeah Okay. Also from the Wonder Woman collection, I also got the um, lipstick in Marquise D. This one is uh, from a luster and it's just a pinkish, um, light pink, brownish color with gold shimmers. Another one of my favorites and, it's, and, the, and this lipstick is so moisturizing. Look at this, the swatch of it. So pretty and I really like it as a lip, as a lip color. You might have seen it in my favorites video. So yeah, um, okay. Next items I got, uh, and the next lipstick that I got is um, Nude Blush from the Moisture, the Maybelline's Moisture Extreme line, and it's also another nude color. I, I mean another uh, brownish nude color with pink undertones. I have recommended this in my favorite lipstick video, so you can check that out on my review on this. So. Yeah, I really like this too. I also <laughs> joined um, Ice Frost Spree uh, from On Sugar. Her name is Michelle, and I got two Sigma brushes. One is the Medium Angled Shading Brush E70 and the Short Shader Brush E20. And um, I really like this E70 brush because the bristles are so soft and it's angled, so it's easy to apply color in the crease. It's like an amateur crease brush. And as for the E20, I'm not that fond of this. In fact, I don't really like this because the bristles are very stiff and they are scratchy. Especially when I want to use it on to smudge out my eyeliner under my lash line. On my lash line, my lower lash line. And it's so scratchy that uh, I feel like it might can damage my eyelid or give wrinkles to my eyes. So I don't really like this, but I like this one, the E70. And my last item I got is a Stila Kajal Eyeliner in Topaz and this one is an apricot or peach color and I was a bit skeptical when you know, YouTubers were raving like how creamy this was and how smooth and buttery this feels on your eyes and I was a bit skeptical because I always thought that you know the Urban Decay 24-7 were sort of like the creamiest and the most smooth eyeliners but when I got this I was proven so wrong this eyeliner is really that smooth look at it it is so smooth it's like you know when I apply it and look it's like dented because it's so freaking smooth I'm like I was like <gasps> You know, and you can because it's so creamy and so smooth, you can easily get a lot on your, you know, water, uh, eyelid or wherever you put it. I actually got this because I want to put it on my waterline as a um, white is too white eyeliner is too harsh. But I had made a mistake of like applying too much on my eyelid because it's so so creamy and. Um, Stila actually advertises this as a multi-purpose um, liner. You can use it on your eyelid, you can use it on your waterline, you can use it as a lip liner. So yeah, and it's actually made in Italy and I got this for $8.50 at um, HG Beauty. So yeah, I got a really good deal. And so that's it 
for my haul so before I leave I want to show you something it's a pair of shoes which I have been loving a lot and it's a pair of wedges with a peep toe wedges and this one I got it from Mitu it is a I think it's a Korean brand in Singapore and I got this at Jurong Point and what I really really do love this pair of shoes because um, they are so comfy and because they are wedges so they they are actually very stable I sometimes when I wear heels I actually do trip but wedges I never trip because you know they are like shoes they are like flats they are very very stable and this pair of shoes is so comfortable I never have like any blisters coming out from shoes and it's really very difficult for me to find shoes because my feet is the front is actually quite broad and I do suffer from blisters on my toes sometimes when I wear new shoes but I didn't have a problem with this and when I wear this pair of shoes I can walk like like the entire Orchard Road so do check um, this um, pair of shoes if you're interested if you really do like this style of um, shoes like me and I got this like pretty cheap I think it was doing like 30 or maybe 30 plus dollars so yeah, do check out um, this uh, this brand of shoes uh, because they do sell pretty cheap and wearable shoes that are really quite comfy. So do check and I highly recommend this pair of wedges. So that's it girls and I hope you find this enjoyable. So it's also like sort of like a mini review haul uh, video. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you girls next time.